they came out in their numbers to race in the three classes on offer. The traditional box cart, the luge class and the gravity racer class. The event is in its second year and it continues to grow. And while some carts made it to the end, there were those who had a couple spilled to go with the thrill of racing. According to defending champion Anthony Cozier, serious planning went into the building of his cart, which was entered in the gravity racer class. A couple months and it to the point where it took us the night of box cart last year. Last year it took us up to 2 o'clock in the morning finishing it. But it's finished and completed now, so it should run very well today. His mother, Anisha Cuthbert Cozy, was proud of her boy's effort and likes the fact it's a family affair that goes into the construction of the cart, while encouraging the kids to use their minds while having fun. I love the fact that he works with his brother, he works with his father, you know, they get to put things in practice and figure things out, and that's a great process to be through. Event organizer Andre Critchlow was happy with the turnout, especially with the younger participants, as well with the impressive carts in competition. I have to admit, we have a lot more of the younger generation with the luge. It's a little high for them. We're working that out. But again, the quality of builds we see in here today is, is what we expected. Unfortunately, defending champion Anthony had to settle for third place this year, as the gravity racer class was won by Scott Wartman, with William Cozier winning the luge class and evolution karting, the traditional karting class. Kent Fuentes, Sea Sports.